Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Fishing the Garden State. Uh, for this episode, I figured I would do a little um, evaluation, a little review on my uh, Bass Pro Shops backpack. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal bag. Um, without the holders that are going to be, you'll see down here in the bottom, this bag was on sale, Bass Pro, for 25 bucks. So, not bad. Um, as far as an inexpensive investment, again, that's without the three 360 series um, containers. You're going to see some of them in the bottom. I did get them separate because uh, I like using all the Plano boxes. Um, but I'm going to run through everything, the features, the benefits. Um, as you can see, this zipper right here, that allows the two bags to separate. So I can take my hard baits um, and separate them. For my soft baits, you'll see I keep my soft plastics, and I got an extra box up here as well uh, with my terminal tackle and then uh, my jerk baits. But because I have a total of six boxes in here right now, but I can separate the bottom, which holds four boxes, four um, 3600 series boxes, um, and then some other bags and some other packages and stuff that I have in here for pockets. But let's run through it real quick. So we're going to start outer pocket, um, basically little. Utility tool pocket. Get into the baits here. Um, I got a little wacky rig tool, pair of scissors, um, just basically some utility stuff. Wacky rig tool, obviously great for putting the um, O rings on the Senkos, kind of you know elongate the life. Open it up. Like I said, four 3600 series uh, Plano boxes. Um, has got my boxes separated. I obviously got top order down there. Frogs, poppers, blade baits, swim baits, spooks, spoons, uh, crank baits, chatter baits and jigs, spinner baits and buzz baits. Uh, I'll run through the boxes here in a minute. Uh, just kind of show what I got in them. Um, in the top pocket, um, just got some utility stuff. I got a little GPS here. This is actually a mapping system, so I can map out from Garmin, you know, where some of the key spots are. That way, I can remember exactly where certain things are if I want to while I'm out there. Um, shore fishing, obviously, if I need to keep anything while I'm out there, tournaments, whatever, trout, um, you know, some other stuff like that on on the on the line. Keep a knife. Inside this compartment here, have my pliers. Um, you know, anything goes deep. Other pliers there. You know, kind of keeps things, um, you know, clean, organized in there. And then I got grippers and my scale. Um, so keeps everything handy, simple, easy to do there. Um, nothing fancy. And a couple of little mesh pockets in here keeps things organized, velcroed up, you know. But all around, the bag's uh, been great so far. Comfortable on the back as far as straps go, padding, stuff like that. You know, when I'm on the shore, um, want to be able to keep it on my back and just walk around and go. Not have to drop everything down, and you know, from there, inside this pocket here, keep a little flashlight attached to it. And right now I have this sitting here. Don't necessarily put it there, but, uh, you know, because I'll condition the line early on. But I just got my line conditioner in there. Bass Pro Shop brand, $6.99. Not bad. Save a couple bucks here and there, no big deal. Um, it's got rod holders on the side. Get into side pockets. Have a little side mesh pocket here. Tape measure. Um, and some uh, nail cutters down there. Trimming the line. Nothing overly fancy there. Got a glove if I need it. And you know, keep some bait meat. You know, some keep the attractant in there. Uh, nothing big. Same thing on the other side. Same pocket. Right now, just got some weights in there. No big deal. Try to limit as much as I can, because. After a while, it weighs a ton. Oh, sorry, I got my finger in the way there, but just some weights down there. Um, 
open up the top series here see what we got I keep a lot of soft plastics with me never know what's going on so yeah soft plastics galore um, probably need to go through these probably don't need that many but got them and then again two more Plano 3600 boxes inside um, we'll run through the boxes real quick if you want pull this up here so uh, you know terminal tackle got my UA fishing Yeti great products all the way around love those um, so I keep the hooks the weights swivels jig heads you know all that stuff some trailer hooks in there I got some drop shot hooks I got some wacky rig hooks you know swim bait hooks all that fancy stuff you know some sinkers um, nothing fancy there go to the jerk baits uh, this is the only one it actually is a Plano box but it's made for Bass Pro Shops Bass Pro Shops logo got the UA fishing on there again and jerk baits not my favorite of baits but getting better uh, some shadow wrap shads in there got the deep ones I got uh, you know some other stuff some rapless stuff get some little micro stuff if I go on spinning gear you know try a little smaller lighter presentation um, all right let's turn this down we'll get into some of the others um, let's go to this one here so I got this is a spinnerbait buzzbait box again Yeti, Under Armour, can't beat it. Um, simple, easy, spinner baits are all kind of mixed up in here. I don't carry many, um, just your basics. Blacks, our truce, white, a couple smaller ones for more finesse presentation. Buzz baits, again, shad, bluegill. Um, black and blue one is tied on right now. Um, so your three basic colors, shad, black and blue, sartreuse. And same thing basically that I did in the little one, except I got all black, not black and blue. So, basic, simple, keep it easy. Um, my favorite box, and that is jigs and chatterbaits. Um, again, got my got my companies on there. Um, got my bladed jigs, all my chatterbaits here, some Z-Mans, a couple others. Got some little finesse jigs. Jigs are getting bunched up right now. I got a couple tied on right now, so a little light on the green pumpkin side, black and blues. Football jigs, flipping jigs, micro jigs, anything. Zoom Super Chunk, one of my favorite trailers. Caught some solid fish this year on those. Love using those. I got some Super Chunk Juniors for, you know, my little micro guys and all that other stuff in the soft plastic bag. Some other cool sponsors. Obviously, everybody knows Mystery Tackle Box and Under Armour again. This is my crankbait, so square bills. Uh, it's a live target in there. I got some rebel in there. I got some Excalibur, you know, kind of everything. Um, so basically, square bills, three rows. Love square bills. Got some deep stuff. I got some uh, scatter wraps. I got some lipless. I got some smaller micro stuff in there as well. Some little guys. Again, change it up. Smaller presentation. Fish get real lethargic, give them something a little smaller, maybe then it'll hit them in a different spot. Who knows? And then uh, basically top water box. It's got basically the rest of the stuff in here. You know, I got my uh, my poppers and my frogs. Um, you know, a whole popper in there. Old school bait, still works. Um, even got um, some jitterbugs, another old school bait. Swim bait from last month's Lucky Tackle Box. Hollow body frogs, spoons, blade baits, spooks. Um, got spook juniors, best ones. Can't beat them. Um, you know, some sexy shad and then the shimmery shad and, you know, good stuff. Keep it simple. Keep it easy. Um, so that's all my boxes that I carry with me on a normal occasion. I overload. Nothing's overloaded quite as much as that. And I got everything in here. Um, from Senkos to swim baits to, you know, trunk trailers to creature baits, bruisers, intruders, you know, um, stickfish juniors. I got everything in here. Um, but maybe we'll do soft plastics as another video one of these days. Um, but that's my bag. Um, it's held up well. 
Uh, looking forward to it. And I'm able to carry all that in it comfortably, easy on my back, no problems. Um, once again, uh, thanks for visiting my channel. Hit that thumbs up on there for me. And again, subscribe. Um, I have another video coming in a couple couple days. I'm going to be getting the kayak ready. And I bought a new life vest for it. And it's awesome. So I'll be uh, following up with that shortly. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.